Good morning YouTubians, it's Kermit's Ghost and I'm here to show you my collection. Uh, it's just going to be the A's today and make our way through the alphabet. There are 181 A's. I think it was 181 or 188, I can't remember how I counted now. So there's quite a few to play through so I'll get through them quite quickly. A um, couple of things before I start. A lot of these, well not a lot, but quite a few of these I haven't watched and I'll explain why. Um, I have 3,600 films, uh, so that's equivalent to watching a, f a different film every night for 10 years, and I've been collecting Blu-rays for six and a half years, so it'd be, unless I like, like watch almost two a day, I'm not going to get through them all, so I'll get through them eventually. Now, I'm going to start off with Ariati. Um, this is Studio Ghibli, so I'm, I'm not going to show all the studios, um, Ghibli, Ghibli's, whatever you want to call them because I'm going to show them in like a complete set. So um, I do have them, just that I'm going to show them separately. And I may do that with a Disney, I'm not sure, but I've got a few Disney in here. All right, we'll start off with Abbott Costello. These are recent ones I've not actually watched. Oh, that was um, Abbott Costello, Meet the Mummy. And Abbott Costello, Meet Frankenstein. There's another one I want to get, uh, Buck Pirates, but um, I haven't got around to it yet. Abduction. This is a pretty good action film. It's got Sigourney Weaver, Taylor Lautner in that. About a boy, Hugh Laurie, and a young Nicholas Holt. About last night, Rob Lowe, also Demi Moore. Love Demi Moore. Um, James Belushi's in this too. Uh, about Time. This is a time traveling uh, rom com. I say com. It's, it's, all, it's got comedy elements about it but it's not an overly funny film Bill Nye, um great use of time travel in that film Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter the book is better but that's probably because um, most books are better than the films because there's a lot more information in the book if you see what I mean but uh, it's a good film and uh, 3D is very good in that about Schmidt, Schmidt Jack Nicholson and uh, what's her name? Kathy Bates. Okay, uh, yeah, Bates Smith. I've only seen it on TV and I haven't seen the Blu-ray. Absent Mind Professor. All the Disney Movie Club exclusives are these with the yellow borders. Uh, what does it say on there? Uh, it says there, Disney Blu-ray exclusive. You can only buy these if you live in America and subscribe to the um, Disney Movie Club. There is, a, there, there is a movie club over here, but they don't do these. So you have to have someone in America to get them for you. Steve, um, Kasha One has his channel, Kasha One. Go and check him out, good guy. Uh, we did trades. I sent him some horror films. He sent me these. Great film. Absolutely anything. This is Simon Pegg, um, given godlike powers to prove that humanity is worth saving. Good movie. Don't think this is available in America. Robin Williams does the voice of Dennis the dog. Absolutely fabulous. Never seen the TV series, never seen the film, but I do like um, Joanna Lumley. So that's why I got it. Absolute power. Um, American politics. Uh, it's the, the president played by Gene Hackman and he inadvertently get, gets caught up in a murder and is witnessed by the career thief uh, Clint Eastwood. It's a good sort of uh, running from the government and that sort of thing and good little thriller. Not many people talk about that film. Accountant, this is an autistic, I think it's autistic. Uh, he's got um, behavioral problems, this guy. Um, uh, ben Affleck. He plays an accountant. He's an accountant, but he's like a, he's an assassin also. Good film. Good. I really like that film. That's a good film. Um, Jim Carrey in Ace Ventura one and two. Love them both. It's a pity they come as like both films on one disc. I'd rather have them a separate disc. But you'll find that quite a bit in America. They, they this is an American import, by the way. Um, this is available in the UK, but uh, Americans tend to uh, sometimes put two films on one disc. Um, you'll see I've got quite a few of them all my films are region B compatible you can play them on a region locked player which is what I got 
Uh, some actors I will collect all their movies, and Bruce Willis is one of them. This is Acts of Violence. Haven't got around to seeing that one yet. Acts of Valor, or Act of Valor. This is a war film, and I do like war films. Old one, Adam's Family, and uh, I'm pretty sure they made a sequel to this, didn't they? That's Christopher Lloyd in a ball cap, and one of the people I uh, used to watch the TV series when I was a kid. I've seen the film as well. I actually saw that at the cinema. That's how old I am. Adjustment Bureau. This isn't a time travel. This is more like a, a teleportation film. But you only have to, you have to wear a hat and go through certain doors. Um, if you knew, if you know the film, you know what I'm talking about. Good film. Um, Emily Blunt. Love Emily Blunt. Tina Fey. Paul Rudd. Admission. I'm going through quick because there's piles of films next to me. I don't know if you can see it. Adrift, this is Blake Lively. Um, no, it's not. I'm thinking of a different film. Uh, Adrift, not seen that one yet. Ooh, forgot I had that to be honest. Adventureland, I did see this and I find it a little bit slow, but I need to give it another watch because I like all the actors in there. You got Eisenberg, um, Jesse Eisenberg, that is. Bill Hader, uh, Kristen Stewart, Christian Wig, Ryan Reynolds. Good cast. So I need to give that another go. I found it quite slow when I watched it, it was a few years ago. Adventures in baby, uh, Babysitting, uh, good film. Is it Elizabeth Shue? Uh, yes, it is. And seen it many, many times. This is sealed, but um, I've seen it countless times. I had it on DVD, had it on VHS, been on TV quite a few times as well. This is Terry Gillingham's Adventures in Baron, uh, Adventures of Baron Munchausen. Um, into the mind of Terry Ginnellan. Adventures of Body, uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle. Uh, not a classic. Uh, Robert De Niro. Odd, odd film. Jenny Russo. Uh, see, there's so many films that need releasing. This probably wasn't one of them. You've got films like The Abyss. True Lies. Bicentennial Man. There's, there's loads and loads of films. Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. Made this my cover myself. Uh, it's official release. Uh, I think I got this from America, but um, it didn't come with the um, spine code on, which is number 11. It's a Disney classic. The Adventures of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, Terence Stamp, Hugo Weaving, Guy Pierce, Bill Hunter. Never heard of Bill Hunter, but, uh, you know, the rest. You know the rest. This is um Australian classic. Okay, let's try to get the next pile in. Anyway. Adventures of Tintin, Secret of the Unicorn. This is a brilliant film. I wish they would make a sequel to this. This is uh, Dream Team. You've got Spielberg and Peter Jackson. And 3D is phenomenal. Really good story. I'm pretty sure Simon Pegg did the voice. I'm pretty sure he did. Is it Simon Pegg? Uh, Jamie Bell. Oh, well, there you go. I thought it was Simon Pegg. Aeon Flux. Don't she look nice with dark hair, shall you stay on? Hmm. African Queen, and that is Humphrey Bogart. Catherine Hepburn. Do like Bogart. After Earth, not everybody's favourite. I don't mind this film. I really don't mind this film. Um, it's not his best, obviously, but I can watch it. After Life. Good cast, uh, Christina Ritchie. I kind of like her work. She's a good little actress, I think. Uh, Liam Neeson always puts in a good performance. And uh, Justin Long. Same to him. I haven't seen him in a film for a while. Aftermath, uh, Arnold Sweaty Knickers. Um, yes, it's a slow burn. And it's got a good, it's got a, not a twist, but uh, something happens and it quite shocked me that it did happen. After the Sunset, this is a great heist movie with Pierce Brosnan as the thief. You've got Woody Harrelson as the, the FBI agent trying to track him down. I think it's FBI, it could be CIA, I don't know. FBI, I'm pretty sure. And um, Summer Hayek as Pierce Brosnan's love interest. Very good film. Beautiful. Age of Adeline, Blake Lively. I uh, saw her in, I think I saw her in Simple Favour. Was that her? Where she plays an absolute cow, but in this, she's really elegant and well spoken and. Just a million miles away from what she played in Simple Favour. This is a really nice movie as well. Uh, and it's got 
um, Harrison Ford in that. Uh, Astoria, I'm running through the stories. Uh, this, uh, she gets in a car accident, very lively, and she doesn't age. And it kind of catches up with her, not age-wise, but um, uh, the people that she's sort of left behind in the past. Rachel Weisz in Agora. This is a underrated film. Not many, I don't think I've ever seen this in anybody else's collection. This was uh, Italian import, I believe. Um, set in ancient Greece. Nice film. Yeah, and I bought this because um, it's from the creators of Walking Dead and it's got Norman Reedus from The Walking Dead. And that is purely why I bought it. It's quite a, a slow film. But it's not as, you know, it's not too bad. Now, Blu-ray Ben, I sent him some films um, a few months ago and they uh, insisted that he repaid me by sending me a film. He didn't ask for the films I sent him, just... But he insisted I picked a film, and I picked this one. Um, I like this film. It's not. I didn't know this was available in Spain at the time, and uh, I'm so glad that he sent it to me, and I really appreciate it. Ben, you didn't have to, but I appreciate it. Blu-ray Ben, check him out. Air Force One of its time, very good film. Just recently watched Hunter Killer. Had kind of similar aspects to this. Very good. Harrison Ford. Airplane, probably not. Um, sort of um, politically correct now but uh, this is such a good film such a good film it's got three uh, written for the screen and directed by and you've got three directors Jim Abrams David Zucker and uh, Jerry Zucker very funny very very funny it's just gag after gag after gag very good uh, Airwolf the movie because I watched a TV show when I was a kid Akira I like um, Japanese anime this could be manga could be anime I'm not sure not sure. Um, I won't keep you. Okay, um, Aladdin. Disney's Aladdin. This is number 31. Probably can't see the title number because this is a GoPro. It's like a wide lens. I do have a macro lens for close-ups, but that would mean changing it over and it'd take too long. Aladdin. Um, obviously, everybody knows they're remaking it live. Live version. Looking forward to it. Uh, Will Smith's uh, The Genie. Alan Partridge, Alpha Papa. Steve Coogan, underrated actor. Uh, Albert Nobbs, where you've got Glenn Close um, portraying a, a man, a butler. Alexander and a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Um, why did Disney put Disney in front of all of them? We know it's Disney. Um, Steve Carell. Who doesn't like Steve Carell? Alex Cross. He's got a lot of hate. People were saying that it's very sort of shaky cam, and uh, I didn't find it that bad. Tyler Perry plays Alex Cross, who was portrayed by um, Morgan Freeman in earlier films like Along Came a Spider and uh, Kiss the Girls. So I enjoyed that. That was bad because everybody said it was really bad. I think I enjoyed it more. Uh, this film, Ali. It's a biopic of uh, Muhammad Ali and um, or Cassius Clay, and it's portrayed by Will Smith, directed by Michael Mann. I wasn't the biggest fan of this film. I need to give it another watch. Alice in Wonderland, number thirteen. Don't know if you can see that. Um, yeah, decent film, bit trippy. And then you've got the Tim Burton live-action versions. I'm not a massive fan of Tim Burton's. Uh, well, I say that he he has done some great films. But when it comes to like the, the Disney live action, I, I haven't seen Dumbo yet, and that does look good. But when he sort of teams up with Johnny Depp and Helen uh, Bonham Carter, I don't know, it just doesn't really do it for me. Um, good 3D in that, though. And I did like um, Helena in that. And then you have the, the remake, not the remake, the, uh, the sequel, Alice Through the Looking Glass. Nice in 3D as well. Alien. Alien to me is the best of the Aliens franchise. Um, I was around when the, the first one was at the cinema. I didn't actually go to the cinema, I was too young to see it. But I remember that uh, my sister went and saw it, and she said the Red Cross were there because people were fainting. I mean, people are desensitized to horror and sort of alien films now, but um, good film. Very good film and uh, this one this is quite often people's choice of favorite um 
I prefer the first one. That said, I don't dislike this one. I love this one. This is um, this is very close. It's sort of sometimes I prefer this one, sometimes I prefer that one, but at the moment I prefer that one. This is very good though. James Cameron directed it. The sequel, Aliens. Then you got the third one. Third one's set in like an alien um, prison, uh, well, a, a penal colony on another planet, and an alien gets on there and there's no guns. It's not as violent as the other ones, even though it is an 18. Uh, I still enjoyed it. I saw that at the cinema. I've seen the second and the third and the fourth one at the cinema. Uh, this one. Um, the only thing that saves this for me is Ron Perlman. I like Ron Perlman Hellboy or X Hellboy. I enjoyed that one. And then you got Alien Covenant. And I saw this the other day and kind of disappointed by the characters. Not so much like the effect. The effects were brilliant. Uh, the story, the premise of the story was good, but it's the characters. The characters, uh, like the science officers, would go there and they would make protective clothing. If you're going to go to a planet and explore, you're you're going to be suited and armed to the teeth, and they had them just sort of tickling the alien, and you just you wouldn't do it. And the pilot, played by um, Dan Danny McBride, he uh, yeah Danny McBride, he sort of. He, I don't know, he, he just sort of ignores protocol and goes beneath um, the recommended levels to fly and things like that. It just it wouldn't have happened. Alien vs. Predator. Um, I enjoyed this film. I enjoyed the other one as well. I do like a, a sci-fi film. Great art on that. Um, I do like a sci-fi film, and these are pretty good. It's just that they're not frightening anymore. Um, you've seen the Alien, and you've seen the Predator. There, there's, no, there's no scary involved anymore. And then you've got the sequel. I do like the sequel... I like the first one better than the second one. Alien Infiltration. I've never seen it and probably not likely to. Along Came Polly. This is a good comedy. This was on TV just the other day and it's one of those films that you, if you sort of put your head around the corner and you see it on the TV and you think, well, you sit there and you watch it for a couple of minutes and you sit down and then before you know it, you've, you've watched the whole thing. Very good. Okay, uh, next part. Almost Christmas. Um, Paul Giamatti, Paul Rudd, like both these actors, this is an Australian import. Now, there we go. Um, Morgan Freeman, Along Came a Spider. This is available in the UK. This was an Italian import, which I got um, quite a while ago, a couple of years ago. Uh, love that film. Aloha. This is a uh, German release. You see the German release. Quite often they would have art on the inside, um, the same cover on the inside, shall I say, without the, because this is printed on event, this, so you can get rid of that. But on this case, it didn't. Um, All the King's Men, quite a um, slow burn again. Great cast. Sean Penn, Jude Law, Kate Winslet, James Gandolfini, Mark Ruffalo, Anthony Hopkins. Great political film talking of political films i do have the slips uh, if in case you're wondering where's all the slips i keep the slips in a box up in my attic um robert redford and dustin hoffman all the president's men this is a hmv premium collection i do have all these slips for these um and i might show these in a separate video again hopefully there's a there's three duet in hmv so now they're up and running again they might release them uh, this is uh, the watergate scandal All the money in the world. Um, Christopher Plummer took over from Kevin Spacey's role in this because after he was um, exposed in the press uh, for what he is, they they took all his uh, all because he actually finished the, the film was complete with Kevin Spacey in the role uh, in the role of John Paul Getty the third. So they um, pretty much just reshot all those all those scenes and took him out, which must have taken ages because. That is uh, that was a big role. So slow burn, but a good film, well worth a watch. All the boys love Mandy Lane, Amber Heard. All superheroes must die. Now, if you've got uh, Marvel fatigue, you'll probably agree with that. Um, but I don't. I like superhero movies. All is lost. Robert Redford's another one of those actors I will watch anything with him in, and he carries a whole film on his own there. 
Uh, all in good time. I don't know anything about this. I must have seen the trailer and went out and bought it. Allied, and this is a Brad Pitt film, set during the war, where he's got a, um, his wife is accused of being a spy, I believe. Alice is Buta, this is um, German import, you see again, this doesn't peel off. Um, about people in a butter factory. All About Eve, classic with Betty Davis. Hmm. And Aliens in the Attic. Haven't seen that since uh, since it was at the cinema. Alpha Dog, uh, Bruce Willis is another person I buy all his movies. I think I said that earlier. And he is in this, along with Anton, the late Anton Yelchin, Justin Timberlake's in this, Sharon Stone, Ben Foster. Always, this was the last film for Audrey Hepburn, I believe, and it's got Holly Hunter, whom I adore, uh, Richard Dreyfuss, and John Goodman. All good actors in that. Amazing Grace. This is a must watch. This is a German release, and you can see I'll, um, I've changed it around because there's the original cover with the logo on there. A, a very powerful moving film, and I believe this has got the late um, Albert Finney in this. Does a good job. The Amazing Spider Man in 3D. And amazing spider-man 2 and 3d i like both of these i like all the uh spider-man movies in fact i've got a movie prop from one of the, the toby Maguire um movies i'll probably show that another time amelia story of amelia Lo um lockhart lockhart Earhart. why say lockhart who the hell is amelia lockhart uh, amelia Earhart. um yeah portrayed by uh, hillary swank my son got me this thank you appreciate you so it's got Richard Gere in that. The American. Oh, this case needs replacing. It's really grubby. Uh, I saw this at the cinema. Quite a slow film, but it's good. It's good. It's slow, but it's good. And um, you've got George Clooney there as an assassin. And we're back here with American Assassin. And this is Michael Keaton. This is better than I thought it was going to be. Um, Taylor Kish is in this. And what was he in? He was in. Um, he's been in a few things. But I read that he was the most unbankable star. He was in uh, Battleship. Uh, is it John Carter? That's, that's that one. That's a good film. American Beauty. I will watch anything with Kevin Spacey in because I like his acting. Um, he didn't affect me personally with what he did, but uh, you ain't going to see him again, are we? So. American Gangster, this is Denzel Washington, Russell Crowe, great pairing, I like the both of them. American History X, The Two Edwards, Norton and Furlong. American Hustle, I actually bought this for one pound. Um, that's what I've got to say about it, I've not seen it, um, but I've heard really good things. American Hustle, American Mate, this is a great movie. Very good Tom Cruise film, if you haven't seen this, you should definitely watch it because it's well worth it. And it's based on a true story, which is just unbelievable. American Tell is about a, a guy who sort of runs drugs uh, uh, for um, Pablo Escobar, I think it is, and also um, for the CIA, he's like doing gun running. He's, oh, it's unbelievable. American Tell finally got a UK release and also the sequel. Um, story of the, like a Jewish immigrant sort of thing. It's a, a um, Steven Spielberg produced film on that one. Did he direct the first one? Um, no, I thought he directed it, but he didn't. So, um, there you go, he produced them. American Pie. Uh, I've seen pretty much all of them, maybe missing one, but I need, only like the first one. You only need, really need to see the first one on that one, I think. American Present. This is a really good film. This is written by Aaron Sorkin. If you don't know who he is, um, watch The West Wing. But watch this. This is really good. But The West Wing. And actually, uh, you've got Martin Sheen in this who plays uh, Chief of Staff. And I'm pretty sure after this, he cast him as the President in The West Wing because of his performance. 
Also got a young Michael J. Fox there. And Michael Douglas. What's not the like? And that Benning's in that as well. American Sniper. Great film. Bradley Cooper. He portrays Chris Kyle. Uh, the most... Um, um, he has the, 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 he's a sniper in, in the, the American Army. He has the most kills, I, I believe. And it's just the, the, the tragedy of his life. And well worth a watch. Very sombre, but you need to watch that. American Psycho. Christian Bell. Put it in a black case. American Ultra. About stoner. Or oh, he thinks he's a stoner, but he's not really. Um, good film. I say it's underrated, but people do rate it, so it's not really underrated. I'm a stud. Great cast in this, and just an amazing story. This is another premium collection. It's about the abolition of um, of slavery, and it, it's a must-watch. Steven Spielberg directs it. It's just it's just uh, a whole new level and class of acting and directing. Ooh, the Amityville Horror. I saw this when I was like uh, 11 years old. Um, my mother was obsessed with the occult, lived in a really creepy house built in the 1720s. There was like a, um, a well under our kitchen and um, there was like, we had a, a basement and then a sub-basement, but the sub-basement was bricked off. So God knows what was down there. And um, there was parts of the house that you felt dread when you walked into and, and always oh, icy cold. And other places you felt really safe. So, and um, we used to watch this, and we had Ouija boards to play with as kids. It was, um, I lived the horror film life. And then you have the remake. Uh, I like this film. I think this is really good. This is Ryan Reynolds. I think he did a good job. I think if you've seen this without seeing that one, you'd, you'd probably really like this one. But because I've seen that one first and then this one, I still like this, but not as much as the first one. Does that make sense? Watch this one. It is a good remake. These are both. This is available in the UK now, but this uh, I bought this a while ago. This is an Italian import, and so is this one. But I think they're both available in America. But I think they're region locked in America. Annabelle, Annabelle Creation. Now, is this the next chapter? So is this, uh, I've got the Annabelle as well. I'm going to put it, put it in that way. So you've got Annabelle and Annabelle Creation. And apparently the doll is a real thing. You just stick it in the fire. That'd be the end of that one. It um, Anaconda, John Voight, Eric Saltz, Ice Cube, Jennifer Lopez, and a big snake. And soon the darkness. Yeah, um, Carl Urban's in this. Amber Heard. Amber Heard is absolutely stunning. There you go. I like Carl Urban. I think he's a good actor. Just do Dread. Do the second part of Dread. American Werewolf in London. Great film. They they told the when they were in the pub and they'd say stick to the path, don't deviate, and within five minutes they're off the path. I've got no sympathy for them. Um but there you go. John Landis directed this and uh the effects at the time really good. I've seen this is a H and B like exclusive. This is still sealed. I haven't seen it for a little while. I did have it on DVD and VHS. Very, very good film. Probably one of the best werewolf films. Okay, let's go and get some more. Um, hold on, just pause you. <coughs> okay, I'm back. In case you're wondering what these are, these are um, maps of Disney parks. Bring you a bit closer, there you go. Uh, yeah, maps of Disney parks. And somebody just recently sold a Disney park um, map from the Vafers Park for half a million. Uh, anyway, I digressed. Uh, analyze this, analyze that. It's another one of those sort of double features on one disc. Uh, I'd rather have them on two disc. In fact, I'd rather like buy this twice, make my own covers, and, that, oh, and have them separately. So, I may do that in the future. Anchorman enjoyed this film. Very, very good. Ron Burgundy. Second one, I um, I watched the alternate version, and I didn't enjoy it at all. But my son said I should just watch a cinema version, which is a lot better apparently. Angela's Ashes. This is an Alan Parkin, uh, Alan Parker film. Shows the gritty side of uh, living in uh, Depression Island, um, Depression era Island, and it is just harrowing what these people went through. Angels and Demons. This is the second part of the the trilogy of uh, what have you got Inferno and. Um, 
what is the other one? Um, you know the other one. Da Vinci Code. I love those films. Ron Howard, great director. Angel Heart. This is uh, Alan Parker again. And it is Robert De Niro playing the devil. Angel Share. Saying that too fast. Angel Share. Anger Management. Uh, both of these actors, you can tell they're having fun making this film. Good film. Not well, goodish. Angriest Man in Brooklyn. This is uh, Mila Kunis and Robin Williams. Peter Dinklage is in this as well. I've not seen it. Uh, there's a reason I haven't opened this. I'm I'm savouring it because you're not going to get any more Robin Williams films. So, you know, I'm waiting for the right time to watch them. I've got a couple that I still need to watch. Hopefully I will get to watch them all. Anna Karina. Sort of a period time, uh, period piece. I think it's set in Russia from um, Leo Tolstoy's timeless film, uh, a book rather. So, Kira Knightley. That's the reason I got that one. Annie. I've seen this a dozen times. Again, you've got, uh, what's his name? Uh, Albert Finney, late Albert Finney. Uh, lovely little art on there. Uh, sing along. Good film. Good film. I enjoy that. Uh, but I've not seen the sequel yet. Where you've got um, Jamie Foxx amongst other people. Cameron Diaz. I didn't know she was in that. So I'm, I need to see that one. I do like a musical. Woody, How uh, Woody um, Allen is not everybody's favourite. Uh, but I do kind of like his films. I like his earlier work. I, I've yet to see Midnight in Paris. Which looks really good from what I've seen. Annihilation first watched this on Netflix and uh, as it was a Netflix Netflix exclusive I was under the impression that it wasn't going to come out in the UK on Blu-ray for like years that's what people were telling me uh, so I imported it and apparently it's out next month great film great sci-fi film some creepy elements in that Anomaly uh, I've not seen this one Brian, Co uh, Brian Cox the uh, the actor, not the director, uh, not the uh, scientist. Well, I think it's the uh, the actor, not the scientist. Uh, Luke Hemsworth, Noel Clark. Looks interesting. Anomalisa. This is um, a stop animation um, at its best. Anomalisa. Anonymous. This is the story around the conspiracy theory that Shakespeare didn't actually write plays and the sonnets and and, uh, and whatnot uh, that in fact it was a member of parliament who was sort of um, um, sort of using him uh, using Shakespeare as like a, a a vessel for his work uh, Ryan Iffens plays the person that she wrote the the plays good film very underrated people don't tend to like that film but I think it's really good another earth now this is a sci-fi film without so much sci-fi is it um a, like a another earth turns up in our atmosphere just outside our atmosphere sort of uh, i think it's between us and the moon and uh the people on it like mirror mirror of the people on earth so there'd be like two me's to use to of everything but it doesn't really sort of go down that route of of sci-fi it's more just like a character study so Good film. I need to watch it again. I have watched this, even though it's uh, a sealed copy. I think I borrowed my brother-in-law's copy. Must have done. Uh, another stakeout. Why isn't the first one out? Stakeout is a really good film. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Much better than this one, but this one got the release. Uh, this is still okay. Yeah, this is an okay film. Anthropoid. Um, not seen. Not seen it. Ant Boy. Now, Ant Boy is a um, German film, and unbeknownst to me, when I bought it, I was, um, it's only in German. The audio is German, so I've not actually opened it and watched it. Uh, I, I found out on uh, Blu-ray.com there's no English audio on this, so that's a shame because it, it does look fun. I think that's out in America with an English track on it, but it's region locked. 
Ant-Man. I do have all the slips to say up in the box somewhere. Um, 3D. Love this film. Absolutely love it. And then you have the sequel, which is I love this film too. But the first one, just as uh, an edge for me. I like origin films, like Captain America. I think Captain America is one of the best Marvel films. The first one. The original. Is it called the? Uh, the original Avenger or something or I don't know the first Avenger first Avenger I think it is any given Sunday <coughs> don't get many sports films come out in the UK I like sports films The Apartment Jack Lemon such a good actor Apocalypto you've got to have your war films Great cast in there. and Harrison Ford's in there too um, did I say Apocalypto it's Apocalypse Now that's Apocalypto. Um, Mel Gibson took me ages to find this uh, as a used copy. Oh, I don't know if it was... Um, how much I pay for it? £1.50. Uh, I don't know if it was out of print because it, it was never in HMV. So um, I had to wait to find that second hand. It took me eight, like six months. Apollo 13. Great film. Tom Hanks, Kevin Bacon, Gary Sinise... Um, Bill Paxton, late Bill Paxton. Bill Paxton's the only actor that has ever taken on a Predator, an Alien, and a Terminator. He lost each time, but there you go. And Ed Harris. Apollo 18. Um, not seen this one. Not seen it. Appaloosa. Uh, Ed Harris. I like Ed Harris. And um, Viggo Mortensen, Jeremy Irons, Rennie Zellweger. I like the cast on that one. Uh, this is another one of those Disney exclusives. Thanks, Steve. Apple Dumpling Gang. Good film. Really good film. Saw that when I was a, a, a kid. Young kid. Aquamarine. Um, this is Emma Roberts, Sarah Paxton, and Jojo, the, the singer Jojo. Um, Emma Roberts is Julia Roberts' niece. And this is a, a fun little film. Banner Mary Maid. Arachnophobia. John Goodman. Cool film. Ooh, not that scary but it's good good for kids at Halloween I think uh, Arbitrage this is um, Richard Gere I actually met Richard Gere a few years ago Argo the extended cut this is a great film it took me a long time to watch this uh, I had it on my shelf and yeah yeah I'll watch it I'll watch it I'll watch it and when I watched it oh what was I waiting for Alan Arkin Brian Cranston John Goodman Ben Affleck and it's a true story Aristocats, this is my favourite of the Disney movies. Love this film. That's number 20 in the classics. Armageddon, one of Bruce Willis's best films, I would say. Um, I don't know if it's a bit cheesy, but it's a good film. Around the World in 80 Days, this is a German import. Uh, yeah, German import. It's got the tag, you have to just make out the tag underneath the disc on the reverse art uh, yeah Steve Coogan Jackie Chan and it's got Arnold Schwarzenegger in this uh, just a bit part for Arnold Armoured with um, Lawrence Fishburne Matt Dillon and if you a heist movie good good heist movie I do like a heist movie okay just a couple of piles left assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford I saw this at the cinema. It was only um, about three or four people in there. It was just like it was what we called perfect storm. The temperature was just right in the cinema. Everybody was quiet and, and enjoying the film, which is rare nowadays. People are usually on their phones or chewing on a bloody bit of a sweet wrapper. They uh, loved it. They absolutely loved it. I could have stayed there all day watching it. Assault on Precinct Thirteen. Yes, it's a good film. It builds, the tension builds in that one. The Assassination, another Bruce Willis film. I've got to unwrap all these Bruce Willis's and watch them back to back. The Assassin, Bridget Fonda. Good movie. There's quite a cast in this, if I remember. Um, Bridget Fonda, Gabriel Byrne, Anne Bancroft, Harvey Keitel. As I Lay Dying, I haven't seen this yet. It's got James Franco and Danny McBride. I don't really like either of those actors, but... I'll give it a go because I do like a cowboy. Is it a cowboy? They're wearing cowboy hats. Army of One. This is 
I think you can get this for like a pound now. I paid like nine pounds for this new Russell Brand Nicolas Cage. There's a pairing, and I believe it's Nicolas Cage trying to hunt down Osama bin Laden while he was alive. The Art of Getting By, Emma Roberts again. The Arrival, this is the, the, the older version with um, Charlie Sheen. And um, it says Region A locked on the back. It's not, it's Region B compatible. And then you've got The Arrival, or just Arrival. Uh, Amy Adams, Jeremy Renner, Forrest Whitaker. Kind of a time travel aspect about this. Um, really good, love the aliens in this. It's like a cross between a, a squid and a, and a giraffe. Art of Steel, another heist movie. Arthur 1 and 2. Again, see the double feature, one disc. I don't know. Um, Dudley Moore, Liza Minnelli. Love the second one more than the first one. I love them both. Arthur, the remake with... Uh, you got Helen Mirren, who was uh, John Gilgood's role from the originals. She's doing the the butler role in this. And Russell Brand is Arthur, James Garner. Uh, James Garner. <laughs> That made a good film. Jennifer Garner is um, the girl who's trying to get with Russell Brand's character, Arthur. That makes sense. Arthur Christmas. If you've got kids and they ever question anything about Christmas, get them to watch this because all the questions are answered. Like, uh, how does he get around the world in one day? How does um, has he make enough toys? And uh, how do they? Has he avoid detection? Uh, you know, all that sort of thing. How does he get down the chimney? It's all in there. All the answers are in there. Just time to watch that. And the 3D is really good as well. Um, Artificial Intelligence. Great film. This is Spielberg. But I think it was originally going to be uh, Kubrick's film. I'm glad Spielberg. Well, I don't know. Kubrick could have done a good job. You've got um, Jude Law in this and Harry Joel Osment, who was uh, a fantastic little actor. He was in... Um, X-Files, a new X-Files series recently. Put a bit of weight on, but still a good actor. The Artist. Good film. Good film. A dog died recently, I think, on that. Arlington Road. Uh, Jeff Bridges, Tim Robbins. Sort of a thrillery kind of film. This one, As Above, So Below. The Only Way is Down. Uh, horror film. This looks like it could do with a red case. Dust. As good as it gets. I don't think this is available in the UK. This is um, this is region free. I think this is uh, this is German. You can see that. Uh, yeah. And this is my point. You see, you can turn it inside out and not get that little sticker thing on it. Sticker printed. Um, anyway, as good as it gets. This has got uh, Helen Hunt. Is it Helen Hunt? Uh, yeah, Helen Hunt. Jack Nicholson, Greg Kinnear, and this is. Oh, it's got uh, Kubrick Jr. in this as well. This is an absolutely beautiful film. And Jack Nicholson, for me, this is one of Jack Nicholson's best films. Uh, character development-wise. I mean, I know The Shining and, and uh, One Flew Over Cuckoo's Nest and F Table for Five and, and all that. Sort of, oh, five easy pieces, that sort of thing. Really good, but in that, he's really good. Ashen and the Quest for the Game Child. This is an English film... You can tell that when you watch it um <laughs> but it's good it's really good and apparently this is getting a release soon um but it's already out it's been out whether it's been discontinued just getting a re re chucked out there but this is a good film well worth a watch check out the trailer it's got warwick davison in this as well all right just one and a bit to go one and a bit to go Assassins, Sylvester Stallone, Antonio Banderas, Assassins, exactly what it says, two Assassins, um, Assassins Creed, my son is a gamer and he said that he was a little bit disappointed with some of the aspects of this, as are probably most gamers, but I'm not a gamer, I can't watch anybody if they do gaming channels because I get motion sickness, uh, but there you go, Michael Fassbender, Jeremy Irons, I enjoyed that, and the 3D is really good in that, I thought, Astronaut Farmer, you got a bit part by... Bruce Willis, but blink and you'll miss it. This is mainly about um, uh, oh, what's his name, Billy Bob Thornton, and uh, he's trying to build a rocket in his back, not backyard, but in like on his farm, and he's like a, a, a 
rocket scientist. Really good. Astronaut's wife. Now this is back when Johnny Depp was really good. Um, he's just been given a lot of bad roles lately. Johnny Depp, Charlie's theory on um, Alien film. A Team. I used to watch a TV show when I was a kid, and uh, I think they did a pretty good job. Atlantis, The Lost Empire. I think uh, Michael J. Fox does the voice of this character. I definitely have actually seen that film. That's number forty of the Disney classics. And then you've got the sequel, uh, Atlantis, Milo's Return. <coughs> Stan Laurel, Oswald Hardy, Atoll K. Uh, this was plagued with problems, this film. Um, there was a, like a multi-language problem on uh, when they were filming it. Um, Stan was really ill, lost 40 plus pounds in weight. And he's the, he wasn't the biggest guy to start with. Oliver Hardy was the only and put weight on and it was it was but there you go. Stan Laurel Oliver Hardy at all K. Tommy Blonde, I thought this was quite slow. I was expecting like um uh what's that film um with Keanu Reeves. Uh I can't think of it. my mind's gone blank. You know when he's uh, never mind. Uh anyway, yeah, I was expecting a lot more of this a lot of action and um i don't know just a little bit disappointed but i need to watch it again because now i know the film is not as fast paced as, uh, as i was expecting john something john 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 wick john wick that's what that's what i thought this was film it's like a female john wick <laughs> that's Glad I got that. Atonement. This is um, uh, oh yeah, this one. I saw this at the pictures. Uh, Kira Knightley as quite a shock ending in this. Uh, it's well worth a watch. Well worth a watch. Uh, set during the war. Um, yeah, there's sort of um, sort of an abuse story, and um, but it's not all what it appears to be. Good film. Now I do have the cover for the. Um, I do have a slip case with this and it's part of the limited edition. I've got number 220 out of 1,000. And I noticed that the limited edition, which is what this one is, um, it's going for nearly 30 pound on Amazon. So it's, it's going up. It was a 10 quid when I bought it and it's already tripled in price. Should have kept hold of your copy, Paul. You'll I'm gonna retire on that film. Uh, Attack the Block, alien UK invasion film. Uh, August Ostage County. Uh, not seen this one, but it's got a great cast. Got Mel Street, Julia Roberts, uh, Ewan McGregor, Chris Cooper, Abigail Breslin, Benedict Cumberbatch. Need to watch that. Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. I've seen these, but not for a while. And then you've got Spy Who Shagged Me, uh, the sequel. I think I've got these around the right, uh, right way. And then you've got the one with uh, Beyonce in it. Um, Gold member, Austin Powers. Automata, Automata, up to you how you pronounce that. Antonio Banderas, the, I've not seen this yet, but the, the, the trailer does look really good. Autopsy of Jane Doe, this is what I'm talking about, put in uh, like red cases on, like uh, that's got a black case, that came with a black case. Love the coloured cases. August Land, no sorry, August Land, Austin Land. Uh, I bought that when I was in uh, America the last. The last of my cash was just sort of getting rid of the cash they bring it home and changing it up and this twenty dollars from um barnes and noble australia um not a lot of people like this but i thoroughly enjoyed this one i saw it at the cinema and i do like nicole kidman and hugh jackman avatar everybody has this 3d this is uh what we used to sort of um if anybody come over and say, oh, put your TV on, let's have a look how good the picture is, and then you shove this on just to show them how good it was and how good the sound was. Avengers Assembled, uh, 3D, good film, good film. I've not seen that one in a while. Uh, then Age of Ultron, for me, this is the week of the three. And then you've got uh, Infinity War, looking forward to Endgame, as is everybody on the planet, except my daughter who hates Marvel. And then the last ones, you've got um, The Aviator, Leonardo DiCaprio playing Howard Hughes. 
awake. Now, this is apparently something that actually happens. Um, some people suffer from it. They're going for an operation and uh, they're not, they're, they're put under, but they can still feel and they're conscious of everything that happens. Can you imagine that? Feeling the cut as they open you up. Ooh, that's got to be a nightmare. And this really sort of, this gets to me, this film. I've had a few operations in my time. And I always think of that film. Ooh. Awakening. I do like a ghost story. I um, told you that I lived in the, the, the creepy house. And um, actually, we were watching uh, The Poltergeist. And just when the hand came out of the TV, our, our TV exploded. So uh, <laughs> I don't know if someone was trying to tell me something. But that's usually the story with ghost stories. Um, the ghost are trying to tell someone, get a message across saying, oh, you're in danger. Uh, someone's a baddie. So that's that one or like um, go here to find this thing that sort of thing um, I like a ghost story and this one this is the last of the A's I thank goodness you're saying Awakening this is a really good movie it is heart wrenching Robin Williams plays a doctor who was treating Robert De Niro well a bunch of people Robert De Niro is like the main character of the sick people and they're sort of stuck like statues almost and based on a true story I won't tell you anymore because you need to watch this thoroughly thoroughly enjoyable that's it for the A's um, join me for the B's next time I should be doing it at about on probably Monday this will probably take a long time to render this video so this might not go up till Monday anyway see you soon and um, thanks for tuning in bye bye